Hello, Neil Love Miraculous Magic. Okay, so what I forgot for you today. Well, actually today I decided to bring two different bits to you together at the same time here. Uh, I wanted to try and do something a little bit different. So I thought something maybe mentalism. Now I am trying to work on something which isn't cards. Okay, because I know we've been quite cards heavy. Uh, but it's a little bit tricky not knowing what you're going to have at home. Odds are if you're looking into doing a bit of magic, then you're probably going to have a pack of cards kind of working on that principle. But I'm going to try and bring you something that isn't cards. Uh, as much so I'm working on that okay so uh, forgive me a moment today I'm going to bring you um, uh, two pieces of tricks and uh, they are uh, simple a can I'll explain a little bit later and uh, mind card okay so that's what I'm bringing to you now so let's go into the performance let's check this out right so first things first so we're going to go into mind card first of all Okay, so in mind card, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to ask our uh, spectator to give us a number between 10 and 20. Somewhere in the middle would be great, but uh, whatever, whatever number you want, between 10 and 20, just give me a number. Okay, let's just say they say 16. All right, 16. So what we're going to do is you just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There you go, that's nice and fair, isn't it? There you go. So that's 16. All right. So now 16 is composed of two numbers, a one and a six. So add those two together. And what have we got? We've got seven. Nice simple math there, isn't it? Okay, so let's do this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, now, would you say that's that's about as fair as we can possibly get it, isn't it? There we go. So we've got this number here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use my mind powers and, uh, and just tell you what that card is. OK, that card is the five, five of diamonds. Five of diamonds is what's coming through. And sure enough, it is the five of diamonds. I'll tell you what, I knew we were going to do this a little bit uh, a little bit later on so uh i've done something even more okay this is what i'm going to ask you to do uh spectator do me a favor all right what i want you to do is just really shuffle up those cards okay so let's just have a real good go and shuffle up those cards see doing magic for all these years and i still mess up the cards all right <laughs> There we go. It's really good to sound with this. Okay. There we go. Give me one of the special magician shovels. There you go. Regain my dignity just a little bit there. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so now uh, we've shuffled up these cards. Okay, I couldn't possibly know what they are. So literally just give me any number. There's 52 cards in a pack. Give me any number you like and i'll tell you now that i've written down the prediction of what i believe you're gonna you're gonna choose is actually in this book all right okay so let's uh let's do this okay so name your number and let's just say they go for i don't know i'm going random now uh let's go 28 Okay, so they're going to go for 28. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. There we go. And as promised, what I have in here is I have my prediction okay and i'll just try and keep this as simple as i possibly can I'll open up the book there we go and i'll open it up on the page that i've selected and in my here i have a prediction and my book says the three of spades okay so the three of spades and that card is the three of spades how about that Whee! Okay, so you want to learn how to do both of those together? 
because it's a little bit of mentalism, it's mind reading that's predicting the future? Well, let's skip on over to the tutorial. Get yourself ready. Okay, here we go with the uh, tutorial to uh, mind card and then simple ACAM. Okay. All right. So first of all, uh, the simple setup for uh, for the mind uh, mind card. All right, is that we just need to know from the top what is the tenth card. Okay. This is going to be the tenth card. Okay. So these are nine cards. With this one makes ten. So there we go. So I now know that the tenth card from the top is now the Five of Diamonds. It can be obviously any card you want it to be, but the uh, Five of Diamonds is what it is. Here we go. So now, here's a simple thing. Any number between 10 and 20, any number between 10 and 20, between, not actual 10, not actual 20, okay? Any number between 10 and 20, when added together and counted back, will come back to the 10th card. OK, so let's completely go for a different number this time, shall we? Um, what about something, I don't know, higher or lower? What do we think? Uh, let's go for something lower, shall we? Uh, we'll go for 14 this time. OK, so now they name 14. So we just count down to the table from the top of the pack down onto the table. If we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so that's fourteen cards. All right. So fourteen is comprised of two numbers, a one and a four. Add them together. What does it come to? It comes to five. That's right. So now we go one, two, three, four, five. And there we have that card there. OK. All right. Now we know because of this principle that this card is now the five of diamonds. OK. So now what we want to do is we want to sell it. Magic is all about that performance. You're going to have to sell this, especially in all mentalism tricks. It's all about the story. It's about the it's about the play. It's the theatrics. So play this up. Really try to read the future. Try whatever you wish. OK. But then eventually you're just going to say before the card is turned over the five of diamonds. OK, and show it over. Or here's another way to do it. OK. Ask them to take the card and then they can look at the card and then read their mind. OK, so there you go. There's a couple of different ways, but that is the uh, mind card. OK, so you're just going to put it up. Now, the brilliant thing is, is now you can carry this on onto the next one. Now, simple a can. Now, a can is a magical term which is any card at any number. OK, so there is 52 card, 52 cards in a pack. They can shuffle the cards up. It doesn't matter. There is no setup in this simple again. OK, all you need is your prediction written down in a little notepad. OK, you want to know the secret? All right, really simple. The card that they're going to choose is the one that I'm going to put there. So what we're going to do is just going to lift this over. So whatever number they pick down to, I'm going to go there and I'm just going to put this on top of the pack. OK, let me show you again. OK, so now let's go for a lower number. We don't need to go for a higher number. Let's go for, I don't know, uh, 10 this time. OK, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. All right. And here is my prediction just there trying to keep this as simple as i possibly can here we go and i'll open this up so there's no cheating whatsoever and you can lift the book up there you go because remember the card is already delivered now all right and you can see it's the three of spades let's have a look at the top card and the top card is the three of spades it's amazing the crowd goes wild there we go. <laughs> So you can have fun with that one. That one's a simple A can. OK, <clears throat> any card, any number. I can literally pick any card they want. All you're going to do is you're just going to come over and you just put it on here. All right. Okay. And of course, you can set this up during the performance. 
if you like. All you need to do is just get yourself out one of these cards and hide it at the back of here. Hide it, I don't know, hide it in, your, in the palm of your hand there like that during that uh, piece of magic and go, eh, I'm just going to write down a prediction here, okay? Hmm, let me see. And you just need to hold that card there and you can just write in your prediction where they can't see. However you want to do it, okay? It makes it a little bit riskier kind of doing it there like that. But if you wanted to get into uh, into that, all you need to do is hide a card behind your little booklet or whatever it is that you want to do, okay? All right. And then you can just, obviously, you're going to lift that and put that on top of the pack. All right. Simple as a simple can and mind card. Enjoy that one. Practice it a few times. And as simple as that is, because what you're going to practice is not so much how to do it, because that's nice and simple, but it's practicing what is it you're going to say? How are you going to say what you're going to say? That sort of thing. OK, practice, be miraculous, have fun. <laughs>